Well, according to the clock, it's 7 p.m. on the dot. Oops, there went the dot. Okay, I was early. Mike is, uh, where is Mike? He's, he's out of town. No, he's in town and he's, um, um, he's in bed with some uh, minor ailment of some sort. Not sure exactly what it is, but I th think it has something to do. Oh, I remember now. So, that's all that I've got to say. <laughs> what actually happened to him uh, this morning was he went into uh, uh, surgery. It's a light form of surgery. Uh, it's with a very small knife and uh, slit his eye open. I mean, the doctors did that, and um, he is going to now get uh, um, contact lenses after the eyes, uh, I don't remember which eye it was, uh, calms down. And when it calms down, well, then he um, will have, I guess, uh, a, new, a new contact. Uh, well, I don't think he has any contacts right now. But anyway, the eye had been causing uh, problems for him, and he went in this morning, and he is, uh, he is either still there because I haven't heard from him, but on the other hand, other people probably have, and I would assume that he is uh, uh, at home and doing the normal recovery process. So please um, keep him in your prayers tonight. And uh, specifically, ask the Lord for us that he gives Mike a swift return to his duties. That we'd all be excited about. So tonight, uh, he told me that uh, this auditorium class is on chapter, uh, John chapter 5. And I don't know how uh, much study everybody has uh, uh, about the Bible. I mean, the longer that you live, the longer you know more about the Bible and what the Lord is trying to teach us and so on and so forth. And um, I remember as a, uh, as a young Bible student at the place that no longer exists, uh, Columbia Christian College in Portland, and and I don't remember the instructor's name, but he was a really good instructor, but he wasn't a good name person, I guess, because I can't remember his name. But nevertheless, when he came to uh, the book of John, it was interesting, I thought, compared to the other books of the Bible, uh, particularly of single passage ones uh, noted by the author, that uh, he could uh, explain very quickly how the passages in a given text uh, was connected together and how you can pick out chapters, and he said particularly in the book of John, in which they go rather briskly. And thereby, if you are uh, given an assignment by the university president, uh, J.P. Sanders, uh, at that time, when I was there, and J.P. would call different ones of us up at a time, and, and he said, and I'll get back to my original thought here, but he said, 
uh, Chuck, I need you to uh, uh, preach. And I said, yes, sir. Um, and I just, before he spoke any farther, I just rattled off uh, uh, one or two other towns nearby and um, where I've been to congregations within that Washington state area and Oregon uh, state area. And he said, no, 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 no. Uh, it's on Gleason Street, uh, which is about a mile and a half from the college. And I thought, Gleason Street, well, I'm not aware of a congregation there. He said, well, it's not one of our.